So let's dive in. First topic of the day. Vic Kenning, West Virginia defensive coordinator. Only been there for a year. Obviously, Neil Brown is the head coach there. He came from Troy, and he brought Vic with him. They have placed him on administrative leave. They've The defensive coordinator. They are launching an investigation into allegations of mistreatment made by Kerry Martin Jr., who is a safety, on Tuesday. This is really interesting stuff. They He posted the allegation saying, we need a change in our program. He alleges that Kenning, who also coaches safeties, uh, called him, I don't know if we can say that, uh, R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D. You get it. Uh, during a team workout this month, and he's made inappropriate comments about religion, politics, and the recent protests of racism and police brutality. Uh, Martin said that he met with West Virginia head coach Neil Brown about Kenning's behavior. He said, Coach Vic is not a bad person, and he does mean well in many aspects, but his heinous actions toward us overrules the good things he has done, and many of us are uncomfortable being around him. I didn't want to bring negativity to the program, but with everything going on, for him to still act this way and feel okay with saying what he said is not enough, or is not okay, enough is enough. This is, um, one, I don't know that it's super surprising, right? Vic Kenning has been around for a long, long time. He was, where I know him from, he was the defensive coordinator when Dennis Franchoni was the head coach at Alabama. He's been the, the defensive coordinator at Mississippi State. I mean, he's been all over the place. So, of course, he was at Troy. He and knows then, the South. He, he exactly. recruited and, and, and coached and worked in the South. West Virginia might be a little fish out of watery, and that's okay, too. And he is, none of I mean, these things are okay decades. anywhere you go, but yeah. just talking about his resume, it's different places. It's a little crazy to, uh, to hear this stuff, but, I mean, it, again, shouldn't be super surprising knowing what we know about him. Damien jumps in and said, Damn, I didn't know Kyle Long was on the show. <laughs> I wish I looked like Kyle Long. <laughs> hey, you, you from, got a, you only got a few pounds to lose, and you'll be right there, from the, man. From the neck down, I would take it. All right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rip, dude. It. Michael jumps in and said, old school guys like him were raised differently. If more of these old school guys don't adapt, we will see a lot more of this. Yes, I agree. I completely agree. The sport that. is changing. Like, you, you have to be able to connect. Our society with that. is changing. Community is changing. Agreed. It's okay. It and needs to change. Evolution is not, a, is not a bad thing. No. All right? Not at all. Those who fight against it will find themselves looking for employment. And, and we may be close to that here. I don't – Kenning has been around long enough that I would think he may just say, you know what, forget it. Hang it up. I don't feel like changing. Because he's done it for over 30 years at least. You know, yeah. we're we're talking a long, long time. It, he may just be he may just be done with it. Now I don't know what that would mean for the West Virginia program going into the season, especially. I mean, we're at the end of June. Nobody's had a chance to really work out. But if you're swapping defensive coordinators, I, we've seen strength coaches, which is a a pretty big deal. But we haven't seen anybody directly involved with a scheme. At, Neil Brown is an offensive guy. If Vic Kenning yeah. is gone. He needs a defensive guy. Yeah, you are going to, and obviously you'll pull up somebody from, you know, a lower rank and move them up to that D.C. chair. But this is a big, big deal if this ends up being uh, a longer-term thing. So, I, obviously, we're waiting around just to see exactly what's going to happen. These are pretty damning allegations, and who knows what will come out of them. But as Michael said, you know, old-school guys, they were raised differently. They, they're going to have to adapt. They're going to have to figure out what to do. It is not an old man's game anymore. You see so many young coaches, so many guys that are changing the way that college football is played. And like you said, socially, across the board, everything is changing. you got to be willing to adapt. you got to be able to adapt. So we'll see what happens with that. 